So the last few videos, we have taken it easy. We've taken it easy on the fine the folks at home. The slower trail on culinary journey. I've made stuff that CJ would eat. Is yeah, that? From time to time. It's a compliment. Sure. Today, I want to show you guys how to flex. Get ready to flex those culinary muscles. I'm going to show you guys how to show off. Husband, wife, date night, whoever you're trying to impress. You're about to be the chef of the backyard. I'm showing you pomegranate lemon scallops. They're fantastic. They're easy. And they're certainly impressive. Unless you ask CJ. It, and you're not asking. They are. Trust me. Let me show you how to do it. Now this could be hot or cold. Uh, we're going to show you a fun cold method I learned from the great chef Norman Van Aken. If you haven't yet, go follow him on all the social media platforms. He's a legend. So I've got some pomegranate juice. I've got some ponzu, some Meyer lemon vinegar, uh, a bit of sesame oil, and lemon juice. All of this is going into a bowl. Now this may seem very, very simple. We're just adding a few things here. Right? We're going to start mounting our flavor into it, but the technique we're going to use in just a little bit is where it gets really, really fun. Uh, so all of those ingredients together, we've got some sweet, some savory, we've got some acidity, all the wonderful things that your palate wants. Uh, let's let that sit off to the side just for a bit. Now we have two garnishes that are going to go into this liquid. We're going to go in with some red chilies. Uh, I also have some jalapeno pepper. I'm going to slice these very, very thin. Now these are going to be for our garnish later, but I want them to soak up all of that stunning flavor from our, our bath, CJ, our oh, flavor bath. Uh, it's like a marinade, like a sauce. It's all those things in one. I've also got some English cucumber. Uh, I'm gonna cut these in some very, very thin slices as well. Uh, mostly appearance here, use whatever kind of cucumber you like. I just like the way these look. Thin to win, that is the name of the game here. All of that goes into our flavor bath. I'm just gonna keep it, CJ. Flavor our bath. flavor bath. The last thing I wanna do is a bit of orange. Now, I wanna peel the orange and we're gonna cut Supremes or Supremes. It's just the delicious meat without any of the pith. It's a fancy way of it, saying the inside of your orange. Yes. Okay, as long as we all know that. Yes. However, I also want the juice. So the juice goes into my flavor bath. The segments, Supremes or Supremes, go separate. Uh, that way we can use them for garnish later. I don't want to change the color or appearance. That's the only reason I'm not adding them here. But the juice will definitely affect the flavor of this, I am keep saying it, flavor bath. flavor bath. Flavor bath. Now, if you get beautiful, fresh scallops, you'll notice uh, sometimes on the sides, they will have this, uh, can you see that, CJ? This little muscle that hangs onto the side. Now, this is the piece of the scallop that keeps it under the shell. It's called the abduct abductor muscle, and it just peels off all by itself, just like that. You don't have to get rid of that. Um, it, it gets a bit chewy. A lot of people complain about it. I'm kind of into it. Is that weird? Weird, yes. Yeah, are you sure? Yes. Just preference, you know, get rid of the little muscle if you like. All right, now they look much prettier. Uh, some other thing, some other thing. Some other thing, is a weird way to say it. Another thing, you want to make sure your scallops are very dry. Uh, we want it to sear immediately. You've heard me talk about Maillard reaction. Um, Someone, someone said I have Maillard on the brain uh -huh. or something. I don't know, people make fun of me for that. Essentially what it is, if you don't have a dry surface, if, if your scallop or your steak or your chicken, anything is very wet, uh, you're gonna start to steam and boil the liquid off before the protein can start to get that beautiful caramelization. So that's what we wanna do. All right, this is beautiful. Now you can go anywhere you want on the seasoning level. Um, these are pretty delicate, uh, however, Hmm, no, change my mind. We're gonna go hard. We're going hard. Uh, today I'm gonna use my citrus garlic mojo. If you guys haven't had this one yet, it is phenomenal. Uh, let's get it on both sides. I mean, don't go crazy generous, uh, but we don't have a ton of salt uh, in our mix, uh, in our liquid, right? So we can add a little bit more salt here. That, that looks great. You know, actually, before we start cooking our scallops, so here's a fun trick. So I was watching uh, some of Norman Van Aken's videos uh, last night on Instagram, and he did this really fun trick where he arrested the cooking process. Where you get to a place where your food is cooked exactly the amount that you want, you want to stop it from cooking anymore. So I have a bowl of ice. Can you see that's in there? CJ, I've got ice. Uh, it's kind of melting a little bit, a little bit of water. I'm going to put that bowl right down in the ice water and let it start chilling and getting very, very cold. And then when our scallops are done, into the cold liquid, arresting the cooking process. Whoa. <laughs> You, yeah. this guy. Uh, so I got my griddle set. Actually, I have it at low, but I want hotter than that. Let's go up to medium. The trick with scallops is you want to go fast. 
you need to cook fast. Now I'm doing some oil and some butter. You guys know this trick. Uh, butter has a much lower smoke point, which means it can burn a lot quicker. Uh, but I want to prep my fat before I add my scallops. So I've got oil and I've got a decent bit of unsalted butter. Now right to this, I've got some fresh herbs. You guys have seen me do this trick before. Uh, fresh thyme, oh, well, I lost a little piece. Uh, that's exactly how much I needed. Hit that snap, crackle, pop. That's what we're looking for. That's all of the oils and flavors in the herbs getting into our beautiful liquid. So I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Uh, I probably need 15, 15 seconds on that. While I'm doing that, let me slice up some garlic. Now grab the largest garlic cloves oh, dude, that you can. Herbs, man. Amazing, right? Yeah. Like it really brightens everything up. Like all those beautiful aromas in time just explode. They're so if good. If you just give them time, in you. time, they will explode. So you notice how thinly I slice those? Now these are gonna be both for flavor and for garnish later, so we don't need a ton, just a little, but we're gonna have a little crispy element at the end. All right, I feel good about that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take all this garlic. We're gonna go into that butter oil thyme action. Ooh, hey now, almost dropped some. I'm gonna let this sit for just a second. If you need to, you can bring some of that, if you're off kilter like I am, bring some of that butter back in. That works, that works. Let that garlic crisp for just a second. CJ, can you smell it now? Uh, I can smell it even more. Whoa, whoa, Wotown. Yep. Wotown Records. Is that the one I said last time? Yep. I like that one. All right, that looks good. I'm actually gonna grab my spatula because I need a little bit more of, of that, that fat. I should have leveled my griddle. It's the worst. It's the worst. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. All right, that's all we need. Slide the garlic and the herbs away. Let those cruise over here on the cooler side. Now we're going with our scallops. Now scallops do not take a long time, but if you overcook them, you will know. They turn rubbery super fast. They're kind of like shrimp. You would know. Yeah, I would. Yes, a lot like shrimp. Oh man, these smell unbelievable. That, that little trick with the herbs and the garlic, uh, it, it adds a surprisingly large amount of flavor to our fat. Oh yeah, smells so, so good. Actually, CJ, can you see that these are still toasting up over here? Man. Look at those. I'm gonna pull these off in just a second. Uh, keep your garlic separate. You can see how the color's changing, right? That's actually getting crispy. That garlic right there, it's gonna turn into a little garlic chip. Oh, some of these are done, actually. Let me grab my spatula. Uh, once, they're, once they're done and crispy, they'll look like that. Can you see that, CJ? Yep. Might be easier to see on that. That's what you're looking for, a crispy garlic chip. Beautiful, I think this one's done too. I'm gonna put these down. Where should I put these, right here, Ethan? Yeah. I'll just put them right there. We'll put them with our other garnishes. Separate them out a little bit so they stay crispy. All right, let me see, let's peek on one of our scallops just to see where we are. Oh, 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. This is the part where you do not wanna leave. Magic is happening, but if you leave, it will burn and you do not want that. All right, herbs and garlic, all of it, back over to our cutting board. Oh, the aromas, amazing, amazing, uh, amazing. That one got a little crispy. That could be for CJ. We're good, we're fine. What, what, what way? All right, here we go. Now we're gonna give her a flip. That's what we're looking for. We want that really quick sear. That beautiful crust to form as quickly as possible so we maintain the texture of that delicate, beautiful scallop. Oh man. CJ, I know you're not a huge seafood fan, but aroma so far, appearance so far. It's yeah. alright. So over here we are cooling down. This is our garnish and our sauce. You know, I, honestly, we can get our, our plate ready because we're, we're almost there. Ooh, I couldn't see my plate for a second. I thought I was gonna have to make a walk of shame. Nair, narrow walk of shame. Let me peek at my, peek at, oh no, there we go. Let me peek at my scallops one more time. Oh yeah, we're there. So now we have both sides. Can you see that CJ? Nope. Both sides are stunning. I'm gonna bring my bowl over with me. Now we're gonna put those hot scallops right into our cold liquid. I can already feel in the bottom of the bowl how very cold it is. Oh man. So what we're doing is we are arresting the cooking process. We're stopping, we're ending the cooking process because we don't want the scallops to cook anymore. 
We did need the high heat to get the texture. We did need this temp, this one needs to go for a second longer. I'm coming back over here to the ice. Uh, we did need that high heat, but now we need it to go away. Now we don't want the high heat. So this right? is a dish best served cold? <laughs> yeah, it was yes. pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yes, yes it is. Uh, now you can see, even though this is getting wet now, the crust holds. That sear, that Maillard holds, right? Uh, sometimes when you make chicken and you have all the seasonings, it looks really golden, but then you put liquid on it and it just disappears yep. because it wasn't actually seared properly. But this, that, just marvel, just marvel. Uh, all right, so here's what we need to do. Absolutely nothing. We're going to wait, stir this gently. Every couple minutes or so, we need 10 minutes for this to fully chill before we plate. So I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. See you in 10. Plating is my favorite part of all this because when everything starts to come together, all the colors, all the textures, everything that we've worked so hard to create, actually we didn't work that hard. This was relatively easy. Scallops go down first, some of that gorgeous liquid over the top. Remember this was our marinade, our sauce, our flavor bath, right CJ? It's a big our bath. flavor bath. Uh, then you can add all of your other fun garnishes. We have those orange supremes. Uh, we've got some little arrows of pomegranate. There's like the pomegranate seeds with all the delicious fruit juice around the outside. Uh, we've got those garlic chips. You could throw a little fresh cilantro on there. You could throw some sesame seeds on there. You could really take this a ton of different directions on your garnish as well. Key thing to remember, hard sear, arrest the cooking process, cold sauce, cold flavor bath. Thank you, mm -hmm. CJ. Yep. Uh, and, and, and win, and win. This, this, this is one of those dishes. When you make it, someone goes, who the heck are you? And when did you start cooking like this? And, and I hope CJ tries it. Are you gonna try it? Nope. Ethan? Sure. There we go. Oh man, it's just elegant. That's all I got. That's all elegant I got. Elegant is definitely the word to use for this. Crispy garlic on top. So money. It's so refreshing. It's warming up. Tell me, it's warming up most places in the country. This is so bright and refreshing. Very, very tender. We're not in rubber territory. Like it almost falls apart in your mouth. It's oh, yeah. very, very delicate. Uh, if you let it sit too long or you go too high of a heat, I'm sorry too long on high heat, it's gonna turn into rubber and it's no fun for anyone. But this, this is gorgeous. Each, each bite is different. Like there's a lot of umami, like delicious bitterness in that garlic. But if you get some of this, hang on, I'm, I'm leaving you out for now garlic. I want some of that fresh orange, that fresh citrus. It's like that one scene in Ratatouille. That's all the, the colors and the fireworks. It the is. Revelation. Thank you, Ethan. Also too, um, cucumber really soaks up whatever you get it. Get it. Whatever you, you know what I meant. Whatever you give it. So the the sauce flavor is even more pungent in the cucumber. So it's like a little burst of crunchy flavor. Um, unbelievable. That's how you show off. That's how you start a party. That's how you impress your date. So much fun. Now, if you haven't yet, be sure to click the subscribe button down below. Click the bell icon so you get a notification every time we post a video. Be sure to watch all of the other shows on the Blackstone Network. That guy's got a pretty funny show. Hey. It's okay. CJ's it's first cooking show. show. It's, on it's my fun. Show, we don't throw the, the baby out with the flavor bath water. You've been hanging on to that one. <laughs> I'm awful. proud. It was real bad. Oh, was you didn't really... hear what you said. He said the flavor bath water. Yeah, real bad. Um, but this is Cook, Eat, Repeat, where we like to help you become a better cook one recipe at a time and one technique at a time. Thank you very much, Mr. Norman Van Aken. Go follow him if you haven't. I'm your host, Chef Nathan Lippy, and I will see all of you in the next video.